Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today I have a little bit of an experiment video. I have an idea of how this is going to go, but I just wanted to test it out to be sure. So recently I made a video where we tested how long it would take to get alien pregnant. And unfortunately, halfway through that experiment, my sim just died. So I had to go in and revive him. But I couldn't help wonder, when my adult sim dies, it's not really the end of the world because their grave remains there, I can summon their ghost, I can add the ghost to family, and there are mods as well, like MC Command Center, that can bring your sim back. So with adult sims, even in death, they're never really gone forever. And it got me thinking, what would happen if an adult sim, like a parent died, what would happen to the child? Because, you know, if I had hours invested in a family, I wouldn't be too upset if the adult died. Because, like I said, I can bring them back any time. But I would be pretty pissed off if the child was gone forever like it is when the social worker gets involved. And that's exactly what we're testing today. So I have this sim. His name's Harley. He's a single dad. Um, don't get too attached to him. He's not going to be around for very long. And he lives with his child daughter, Tila. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kill Harley. I do have two saves of this save file because I have a bit of an idea. But we're going to kill him and see what happens to Tila. My guess is that she'll be taken away by the social worker just like kids are when they're being neglected or something. And then we're going to see if there's any way in game that we can bring her back. So, no time like the present. I do have MC Command Center installed, so I can just go ahead and kill the dad right now. How should we kill him? How should we kill him? Maybe uh, Death by Swarm of Flies. That's always a nice one to watch. That's one of my favorite deaths, actually, is watching Sims die by flies. Oh, here they come. Oh, shit. You might want to look away there, child, while your dad's being eaten alive. She didn't even pause, she's still playing fucking FIFA. Jesus, Tila, have a heart. This might be the last decision I make for Tila. Yeah, she likes video games. Okay, so he's dead, long gone, Grim Reaper's coming. Oh no, Harley is dead. Don't worry about Tila though, she has been adopted by a new family. <gasps> this is brilliant. Okay, so I think I know what this is. I reckon this is the story progression. So let's go to save and manage worlds. So I am certain, even though I haven't tested this before, I'm certain that before we got story progression, whenever a child was taken into care or whenever a parent died, the child would just be deleted and that would be it. They would be gone forever. There would be no way of bringing them back. And I have made a video in the past, which is what happens to a child when they get taken away by the social worker. So I'll link that in the white box at the top of the screen now. And that way you can see that they do just get deleted without mods. I thought that would happen and that I'd have to use MC Command Center to have the kid adopted by another family. But it looks like, from what that pop-up just said, that story progression has sent her to another home. So let's see if we can find her. Oh, no, she's just on her own there. <laughs> so she wasn't placed with another family. I mean, I kind of like that she wasn't, though, because it means that I can place her in whatever family I see fit. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm glad I don't have to use MC Command Center. Okay, so that's good news. If a parent dies, a child is still playable. So now, this is making me want to test something else. This is making me want to test what happens if they get taken away now. So let's just move her in with Don Lothario. And we'll see what happens this time. This video might be shorter than I anticipated. Alright, so let's see if the kid gets taken away by the social worker, if she will be adopted by another family. So what's the quickest way? Probably if I get her like a D grade at school or something. D or an F or something, that's probably the quickest way. Okay, now she's an F student, so I'm expecting some kind of notification to say she's being taken away for bad grades so i'm just gonna send her to school and then have her slack off there we go so she could oh hey aggie so she should come home still with an f grade and i wonder if that will trigger any kind of what the fuck? i know i'm not the only person that just saw that glitch there 
What was that all about? Yeah, hopefully when the kid comes home from school, it should trigger some kind of being taken away. Well, I have a bit of a bug going on where my game constantly thinks that Teela is at school. So I might just have to do the tried and tested locker in a room until she gets taken away thing. Although I did just see a notification. Teela is failing. She needs to take action and turn those grades around if she wants to have a bright future. Teela is being neglected. Social services will be called unless you can turn your child's grades around. Oh, well, I kind of went for the whole neglected needs angle now because it's taking so long to get taken for the grades. I wonder if she still has her dad in her family tree. Yeah, she does. Due to neglect, Teela is being whisked away to safety. Okay, but does that mean that she is going to be completely deleted now? Because I would have thought if neighborhood stories could be updated to let orphaned children find a new home, then it could do the same for neglected children. Let's have a look. I didn't get any kind of notification to say that she would be adopted. Nope, she is completely gone. Deleted. It's a shame that there's no option to get them back. Let's try reloading that save. Okay, so we are a mere hours away from Teela being taken away by the social worker. So this time I'm going to go into MC Command Center on the computer, MCC settings, gameplay settings, adopt a ne neglected child. I would highly recommend having MC Command Center if you can have mods because it is very handy for loads of, well, loads of gameplay, but especially if you lose children a lot from neglect, it's handy. It's automatically set to disabled. I'm going to enable it. And what that should mean, I have tested this before. Um, and the last time I tested it was before story progression came in and made it so the orphaned children were adopted. But it should mean that this time, when Teela gets taken away, she should automatically be adopted by another family. I hope so, anyway. Okay, due to neglect, Teela was adopted by the BFF household. Okay, sweet. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a glitch because she's still here, but she is no longer in my family. But what this should mean now is that if I go to Manage Worlds, so Don Lothario's on his own now, and the BFF household have adopted little Teela. Oh, and she's very sad, child whisked away. Bless her. Well, at least you're still in the game, Teela. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that thanks to story progression, if a parent dies, you don't have to worry about the child disappearing. Which is the most frustrating one. If a child gets neglected and is taken away, then fine, fair enough, you get plenty of warnings. But it is really shitty if you're playing and then a parent dies and the kid gets deleted. So, at least we know that with the game as it is, no mods or anything, a child will be adopted by a family if their parent dies. If they're neglected, however, they still will be deleted from the game entirely, unless you have MC Command Center, in which case they will be adopted by any other family. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.